What's the most memorable comeback you've heard in your life? This one came from me. I was 7 months pregnant and huge. While heading to my car some random dude stopped me and rubbed my stomach while asking when I was due. I rubbed his stomach and asked him when he was due. I don't care if it's self congratulatory, I'm proud of this one. Having dinner with my dad and older sister, I got straight as in school or something. And she's doing the elder sibling thing. Sister you may have gotten the book smarts in this family, but I got the street smarts. Me the corner doesn't count. Dad chokes whilst laughing. Picked my niece up from school once, and teacher had sent a note home that another girl called my niece's shoes ugly and she slapped back with shut up you sketches wearing ass vtch and i still think about that a lot she was maybe seven then i need to somehow channel her energy does she have siblings or young parents that's a kid that's schooled and how and where to use the word bitch after creating your own trash talk adjectives those are the ones you don't want to mess with instant roast fifth grade we did a parade with our halloween costumes on me and my group of friends passed a girl from our class one of my buddies makes eye contact and says what are you looking at without even thinking about it this fifth grade girl says not much condescendingly i don't know why that stuck with me i had a co-worker who was a bit of a bully he was an alumnus of william and mary and wouldn't shut up about it we worked with plenty of people who went to better colleges than that but nobody else was as obnoxious as this guy his daughter got into Uva, and I congratulated him, because it's every parent's dream that their kid does just a little bit better than they did. What are you even doing? Minding my own ducking business. You should try it sometime. It was one of those moments where everyone around heard it and went, ooh all at the same time. And it has always stuck with me. Gay men make me puke. Stop deep throating them then. Have you tried backing up a few inches? Was at a work outing team building type thing and asshole co-worker had brought his girlfriend and their infant along. Girlfriend was looking in the diaper bag for something and pulled out a condom. Which Ak proceeded to jokingly declare was the wrong size. Without blinking she reassured him. It's okay honey. We'll get you some smaller ones. Man imagine had she go for the nuke and said of course honey this is for your boss. Saw this one on a medical sub a while back. This woman has just given birth and tore a bit. And the father was in the delivery room while the nurse stitched her up. The father jokingly said, be sure and stitch her up nice and tight for me down there lol. Without missing a beat the nurse said, just how small do you need it to be, sir? She was a legend on the floor for that. A South African cricketer welcomed an Australian cricketer back to the wicket after a spell out with a child about how much weight he'd put on. The Australian cricketer Shane Warne replied with something along the lines of yeah. Every time I ducked your wife she gave me a sandwich. My dad is a very large man. 6 feet 5 and pretty round. He looks a little like Hagrid when he lets his beard grow long. A friend of his was over one day and my dad was giving him a hard time about being short I would guess the guy was about 5 feet 7. Just the usual jokes about being vertically challenged or needing a ladder to climb into his truck. After 10 or 20 minutes of joking around the friend just yelled I'm sorry I don't have to bend down to change a duck I'm light bulb. Damn. Something I read on reddit. Somewhere on this planet. There is a tree that has spent its entire life creating the oxygen you breathe. You should find that tree and apologize. There's a set of triplets local to us, known to be quite nasty. One day they called my friend with glasses for eyes. Friend you've got six you generic piece of shit. Bully you're a piece of shit. Kid that was get bullied and you're the rest of it. Peas no one really liked this kid, but after this, he got mad respect. I used the line from the movie Iron Eagle once on a bully at school that actually seemed to help. Using the kid's name, when he shoved me against some lockers I said so everyone in the hallway could hear. What's your problem? Rory, can't you get through a single day without proving what an asshole you are? He stammered and shrugged and walked always, and never really bothered me again. 
At least I don't have an abandoned child in South America during an argument between some hippies dudes. That one hippie said duck peace and love and shows violence that day. My grandparents were arguing at a family event years ago. My grandfather made a comment about not being able to see shit. My grandmother responded with, if I shove those glasses up your ass you'd see shit. I wish I could remember more of their conversations. Those two were hilarious. Myself and Buddy, both grown adults were on our way to NFL game with my 15 year old brother and his 14 years old friend. We stopped at a Mexican restaurant to eat before game and my buddy orders one of those giant fishbowl margaritas. Brother's friend 14 Jesus Scott you think you have a problem with alcohol. My buddy didn't miss a beat and immediately comes back with, absolutely, I have to wait until one on Sunday before they let me buy it and that's a ducking problem me. I nearly pissed myself. Someone asked a friend of mine if they were gay. He said, if you'll excuse my rudeness and not answering your question, I'll excuse your rudeness for asking it. I thought it was perfect. When I was about 7 years old 30 plus years ago I really wanted some of the bulk candy from the branches display at the local grocery store. That was that candy you put into the bag. The cashier would weigh the bag and charge by the weight. Me hey mom can I have some candy? Mom no. Not today. I didn't bring enough money with me. Me if you don't get me the candy I'll embarrass you. Smack. Mom. Without hesitation. Backhands the shit out of me in the middle of the store. Mom who's embarrassed now. It was me reader. I was embarrassed. Lesson learned. I never threatened my mother again. My son. About 5 at the time. Got upset and started slamming doors in a supermarket once, when he didn't get what he wanted. I picked him up under one arm, and with him hanging there walked past all the customers in the checkout line, and out into the car. He got to sit there, while we completed our shopping. He never pulled such a stunt again by the way. Parents have no reason to be embarrassed when their kids misbehave. Cause every single person you meet with kids knows. One of my favorites is one I told my sister. Her if I had a nickel for every time you swore, I would be a millionaire. Me if I had a nickel for every time you pissed me off I would put them in a bag and hit you with it. My mom spit out her drink from laughing. My uncle and I worked at a Burger King together. I was a shift lead. He was bitching to me about a useless co-worker that none of us wanted to work with. This guy was maybe a year older than me I'm 22 and was just in a poor state. He didn't shower. His arms covered in track marks and head show up late or not at all. And when he did he'd overextend breaks and would get high on the clock. He overheard my uncle and started to pipe up to stop him. When my uncle turned and flat out told him you're about as useful as a submarine with screen doors. Another one from my uncle to the same guy was I've had more intelligent conversations with a couch from Ikey. Worked in a preschool years ago. Had this one kid who could be a real budger sometimes. Giving the other kids thumbs down. Saying he didn't like them. Absolutely devastating to the other kids. I was constantly hearing miss bells. Isaac said he didn't like me. Then, Isaac made a fatal mistake. He tried it on a 3 year old girl. Isaac I don't like you. 3 year old well. My mommy likes me. Shut him right up. It was absolutely gorgeous and a little vicarious victory. The 3 year old was super sassy. Maybe not as snappy as the other responses here. But I still chuckle at it to this day. My 4 year old once told my brother. You're pretty funny. Funny looking. Complete with sass. I have no idea where her 4 year old self got it from. I was at my biggest 320 plus LBS and early into dating this woman who was a 10. 10. I had no business dating her, but she liked me, so I wasn't about to defeat myself. Dressing for a night out. I was feeling bad about my body, and walked up to her in my apartment and asked. Does this shirt make me look too fat to be seen with you? Your fat makes you look fat. Not the shirt. Was her reply. Ouch. I said. The truth only hurts when it should, was her reply. That was a pivotal moment for me. Within a year I dropped almost 100 pounds. But within 2 years I was down to 180 pounds. I was in my 20s back then, and I went on. 
to get and stay fit well into my 40s now. 2021 is a 17th year of marriage. In third grade my class was walking out to recess and I noticed that one of the popular boys that I had a crush on had his zipper down. This was my chance. I was going to exploit this embarrassing situation and get Joe it to finally notice me. In front of everyone I said Joe I, your fly is down. Joe it, zipped up without a care in the world and asked, why were you looking there? And he was right. Why the duck was I looking there? I felt absolutely bulletproof calling him out. I was going to best him and create a splash within the third grade social scene so large it would be rippling through the hallways for days. But within seconds I realized how truly untouchable he was. Ducking Joe it. Why was I looking there? Fifth grader on the playground. To a kindergarten a Santa's not real. Kindergartner to fifth grader Santa's real. He brings me presents every year. If he doesn't bring you presents, maybe you should think about why. This was my mom. My mom is a very sweet woman who loves all of us kids, but also loves to joke around with us so this might sound mean, but it's not, and was a joke so please no rude comments about it. We were all old enough to know it was a joke. She the kind of woman who will be brought to tears from someone hitting her car then blaming her instead of standing up for herself. Now, I have two younger siblings. A sister and the youngest. A brother. Anyway, when we were younger my brother, who was in the annoying, no filter I'm going to say what I want. Teen phase would tease my sister. He too is not a bad guy now, but was a little brat at that age, and will admit it. He would be the first, even at that age, to knock a kid down for teasing any of his older sisters. Only he is allowed to lol. This time they were going at it, and he was teasing her about how she was the mistake child and wasn't planned, etc. And she would retort that FedEx dropped him off. It was actually very funny to watch. My brother though was taking things a little too far, and it was no longer funny, but annoying to my sister when my mom came down. Already over the constant fighting with them, and with a completely straight face pointed at me first, then my sister, then him while saying about each of us. No. She was a surprise. She was unplanned. You were the mistake. And then calmly walked off to the kitchen to get a drink. My dad poked his head around the corner from the computer just stunned with his mouth open and about to laugh. My sister just died. My brother who couldn't help, but smile also had to try and save himself from that savage burn. But it was too late. Best. Burn. Ever. My dad will joke around with me all the time by just looking at me with a shit eating grin and just go you know you're the best mistake I ever made. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.